channel at the bar. We are going to be doing a bar fusion core segment, just about 10 or 15 minutes long to give you a little teaser and what to expect from my live classes. Um, so go put on your stretchy pants and let's give it a try. Today you can expect working your core from all planes of motion. That's our sagittal, transverse, and frontal plane. So we'll get our whole core on that. Don't worry if you've never done this before. I'm gonna give you lots of options. So there should be something for everyone. And I just want you to keep moving, all right? Just keep that in mind, keep moving. Now, you're going to need to be on a slidey floor, some linoleum, hardwood floor. If not, we can work around that. Don't worry about it, okay? But, if you can, slidey floor. Now that you're on the hardwood floor, I need you to grab a mat or a towel or a blanket so you have something soft for your back, okay? The third thing is you're going to need a rolled up towel. Again, don't get your nice towel. You're going to sweat all over it, okay? And finally, equipment piece number four is a paper towel, okay? I grabbed a couple because we have the cheapy one fly at our house for some reason, but that works too. If you don't have paper towels, I know they're in high demand. Maybe you have a paper plate. Maybe you even have a small towel. Those will definitely work on our slippy floor, okay? So, let's get started. Again, as a reminder, I'm going to play soft music for me, beats 128 per minute, and I'm going to have it on just loud enough for me to hear. This is going to simulate when we go live, so I'm practicing now. You can turn on your 28, 128 beats per minute, and go. All right, so we're going to start in the supine position. Supine is when you've got your tummy to the ceiling. So you need to remember supine, you do it this way. Those of you who are old enough, remember Seinfeld episode, no soup for you. All right, so here's your soup, no soup for you. So we'll face upward, right? Okay, so down you go, belly button up. And now that you have your belly button facing the ceiling, you're going to drive your belly button down to the floor. I want you to take one knee to tabletop position, give it a little grab, and then switch. So, as I switch, I don't pull my knee back too far into my chest. I don't lose that letter L position through my leg. Now, you want a different option, put your hands on the floor or you can tap it down. Remember, when you come up, you need to be in that letter L position. All right, another option still is to put your hands back up into the moon and peel your shoulder blades off the floor. So we're gonna go eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Now pulse it. In, in, switch. In, in, switch. So I give you a few options. Don't feel like you have to do one option the whole time. All right? If you're not feeling it, then I want you to choose a different option. If you're feeling it too much, your back is angry, then back it off to an option that works for you. Eight, eight. Seven, seven, six, six, five, five. Keep going. Four, two, two, one, one. Great. Arms above the head, stretch those hips, belly button goes up and your back arcs. All right, now here's where we grab that roll towel. We're gonna wedge it, and think of that word wedged, right in your lower back area, okay? Right there. So, you're gonna try those moves again, and I want you to feel the difference, all right? Just for fun. So, hands will be back here for support, or not, it is up to you. You've got your options, we go lift and extend. Obviously, we're not coming back down to what the tabletop looks like before 
but it's still working. Options, here, here. Press, press. Hands down. All right, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, one. Oh goodness, this is, you feel a little bit more with the towel and it's actually a little better for your hips. All right, can we try those poses? Yes. Okay, get it wedged in there, lower back area. Again, you have options. Pulse, 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 pulse. Here, here. And we're gonna only do eight total. And we're three into it, okay? You can tap and extend. We got four more. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Let go of the towel. And up you go, pop the hips up, stretch. All right, that was our supine. Easy peasy, you should do at least eight, but no more than 16, all right? Because we're going deep internal work, not a million crunches. That's old school, we don't do that anymore. Okay, so sideline series, I want you to wedge your towel in your hip right there. Find your happy spot, should be right up there, and here's where you're going to need your favorite towels. Okay, so we're just going to sit in your mermaid style, <laughs> and we're going to extend the arm and bring it back. This free arm, let's just start with it in front and supporting. Now, no paper towel, no slicky floor, just bring it down and up, down and up, trying to lift from your core. Not so much with the pressure on your shoulder or your arm, okay? Now, options, reach up and over, come in. Up and over, come in. Another option, here we are. Extend through, let's go eight, seven, six. I'm smiling because it feels so good. <laughs> Two, 
one. Now, half range of motion. Little up, little down. Not your full range. Half range of motion. Little up, little down. Up, down. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now I want you to hold it up and little pulses. Up, 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 up. It's tinier than half range. But don't whip your back, okay? Keep it nice and safe and controlled. Seven, seven, six, up, five, up, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Bring it down. Little child's pose. Round your back as you go back slowly. Beautiful. All right, let's bring it all the way back to the top because we've got to get that other side. Are you going to walk funny tomorrow? All right. So, changing up our supine move. I'm going to re-roll my towels a little bit. Fluff it back out. Change up our supine move just a little bit. We're going to do something called a bow and arrow. Wedge your towel at your lower back. <laughs> Okay, so we start with hands right here, nice angled up. Recline a little bit on your towel. You'll notice that the farther you recline, the harder it is. Choose an option that works for you. I can't say that enough. All right, so arms up, bow and arrow. We go down two and up two. And now we go to the other side. Other arm, down two, up two. Down two, up two. Keep going, down two. Up two. Four. Up. And we're halfway. Four more sets. Three more sets. Stay with me. Two. And one more, but stay right there. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful prone position and we are done. Let's get on our stomachs. All right, and this time we're gonna do swimmers, all right? So, move this towel out of the way. Previously we were right here, just chest lifts. This time I want you to extend your arms out. Notice I'm still hovering. Extend your arms out and lift up. So instead of just a chest lift with stationary arms, we involve the arms. Sweep and swim. Sweep and swims. And swims. Your legs are on the floor. Keep that constant contact. Exhale. Exhale. And here we go. Eight. Press. Seven. Press. Six. Up. Five. Up. Four. Three. Two. You're ready for the pulse. Hold it on the back and squeeze. Squeeze. Stay lifted. Stay tight. Stay engaged. You're almost there. Who's keeping time out there? Has it been a minute? <laughs> 10 minutes? 15? I honestly don't know. <laughs> Here we go. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one child's pose around the back out as you lunge back into it. Woo! Okay, friends, that was your full 10 to 15 minutes. It was probably five, right? <laughs> um, core work section. We do supine, we do sideline, we do prone. That way we get our whole core. I I might have forgot something in there, but, you know, be nice. It's my first time. So, let me know if you enjoyed that, and hopefully we'll see you at our live session. I am planning for a week from today. We'll see you then.